Hey everybody, so today we're going to be looking at areas of rectangles and triangles, but a little bit of a twist, we're going to be looking at them where you calculate backwards from the area. So let's start off with a rectangle question. I'm going to ask you to find the missing side. The example is the area of the rectangle is 15.75 square centimeters. If the height is 3.5, find the base. So first we'll label the area in there and the height and we're looking for the base. Now remember, these are interchangeable. I could give you the base and you could find the height or vice versa. So the formula we know is base times height is equal to the area. So working from the base to the area, you would basically go base, take the roller coaster, multiply by the height to get the area. So now that we have the area, how do we work backwards to find the base? So this will be the reverse direction of the roller coaster with the inverse operation. In other words, starting from area, I go around and I divide by the height and that will get me the value of the base. So the reverse operation would be the area divided by the height is going to equal to the base. In this question, 15.75 divided by 3.5, you do the calculation, you find out it's 4.5. So you would multiply forwards to get the area, you divide backwards to get the base. And this would be centimeters, of course, and you label that in the diagram. You can test it out. 4.5 times 3.5 is 15.75. And as I said before, if you were given the base and you were trying to find the height, you would take the area divided by the base to get the height. It's a little more complicated for triangles, so let's take a look at that. I'm going to give you the area and the height of a triangle and ask you to find the missing side. In this case, it's going to be the base. So here's the example. The area is 28.8 square centimeters. If the height is 6 centimeters, find the base. So 28.8 is the area. The base is unknown, but we know that the height is 6. If we knew the base, the calculation for this would be base times height divided by 2 to get the area. So let's build a roller coaster for this. You would take the base and to get to the area you would multiply by the height and then you would divide by 2 and that would bring you to the area. I don't know the base. I want to find out the base so I'm going to work backwards from the area and take the roller coaster. So the first thing I'm going to do is starting from the area I'm going to multiply the 2 reverse operation, I'm working backwards, and then I would divide by the height and that would bring me to the base. What does that look like in the calculation? Area is times 2 and then you divide by the height and that's going to get us the base. In this example, 28.8, you double it, divide by the, the height and it's going to work out to be 9.6 centimeters. When you test this out, 9.6 centimeters is the base. You multiply that by the height, 9.6 times 6, and you're going to divide by 2, and that's going to get you 28.8. Try it out. You'll see. Now, as I said a couple of seconds ago with the rectangle, we can do this with the triangle also. If I gave you the base and the area, you could work backwards from that to find the height. You would multiply by 2 first, but this time you would divide by the base because you knew it, and that would calculate the height for you. Hopefully this is going to help you to remember. You draw that picture of the roller coaster, and hopefully that's going to be the diagram that helps you remember. So happy calculating, and good luck.